Hey folks, I'm Joanne Whitewater's Farm and Craft. So I'm going to be making a breakfast muffin today. Um, the other day when I came home from work, my daughter, who is 11, was in the kitchen and she was making her some food. And when she popped it out of the oven, it was just this beautiful little breakfast muffin. So I figured I would share this. She showed me all the ingredients that she used to make it. I made it the other morning and it was absolutely delicious. I didn't cook mine as long as hers, so it's completely up to you how long that you want to cook it. Um, you don't need a mixing bowl or anything. The only thing that you are gonna need is a um, cupcake pan and a rolling pin and then the food. So I'm gonna show you how I make this. So I'm gonna angle my camera down so you can see. This, so y'all are just gonna have to be patient with me. All right, I think I got it. Cool. All right. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I have a piece of bread. Now you can use whatever bread that you want, whether it's rye, wheat. I'm just using white bread. I'm just going to take a little butter knife and I'm going to cut off the edges just because it can make it really crunchy and if you like crunchy well then just leave it on. Put that all the way off. Alright, so that's all I did, just cut the crust off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our rolling pin, rolling pin and we're going to flatten it. in our cupcake tin. So I've made it pretty flat, nothing major. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make four little slits in it. So that way I can kind of curl it into my cupcake tin. So I'm just going to peel those back just like that. And then I'm literally just going to fold it right into, oh I'm going to spray it. Might need a little bit of Pam. And the one good thing is you can make one, you can make 12, you can make six. It's whatever that you want to do. So I'm just going to lay this in here like that. That's it. And then I have a piece of turkey. Now you can use bacon, ham, um, chicken breast. I just have a piece of turkey breast, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to fluff this in here. It's a little tricky. So that's all that I did. And then I'm going to take a little bit of cheese and I just have some Colby Jack and Monterey cheese. I'm just going to take some of this and put it in the bottom. I'm not going to put very much, just like a pinch because there's not very much room in here and I still have to put my egg. So that's what I'm going to do now. I just did a little bit. And then we're going to pop our egg in there. kind of ooze out everywhere. Okay, then I'm gonna wipe off my hands. Okay, now I have this salt-free seasoning. Um, you can put some little chopped onions on here or um, salt and pepper, it's whatever you want, but I'm trying to stay away from salt. And I poured a little bit too much, but that's all right. I'll make it go out here. Bread a little bit on there. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit more cheese and just put on the top to make it look pretty when it comes out. Okay, my oven is set at 350 degrees. I'm going to pop this in the oven for 10 minutes and I'm just going to watch it. Um, it's your preference of what you want. Uh, I like mine to be soft and not like completely oozing out, but just really, really soft. So I will show you what that looks like. So I will meet you back here in 10 minutes. Okay, we're at the 10 minute mark. And it's still pretty wiggly. So I just wanted to show you what this looked like. And see my edges are pretty crusty here. So I'm gonna actually turn my temperature down and I'm gonna put it in for another five minutes. And I have this on the middle rack. 
So I'm going to turn this down to 300 just because my oven gets really, really hot and I don't want to overcook anything. So I'm going to put my timer on five minutes and I'll see you back in just a few minutes. just a smidge. So if you like your eggs over easy, this would be a good time to stop. So I'm going to put it in another five minutes because I don't mind over easy, but I like over medium. I like, and the difference is, for if you don't know, an over easy egg is when this white stuff still has clear or still is liquidy like that. Over medium means that your yolk is still runny, but the white is fully cooked. So there's a little bit of a difference. Um, but yeah, it's still a little too runny for me. So I'm gonna stick it in a, another five minutes. So I will meet you back in another five minutes. Okay. Yay, no more jiggle. Jiggles a little bit it's pretty well cooked for me. So I'm going to take this out and get it on a plate and then I'll cut it so you can see what it looks like. It comes right out of the pan. So it looks just like that. It is just beautiful. Alright, I'm going to cut this open so you can kind of see. still have the inside a little bit runny. But not super runny. So this is what the inside of mine looks like, which this is exactly how I like it. Now this might be a little bit too crispy. I'll probably have to pop that off a little bit. Um, but this is one little dish that is just absolutely delicious. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please share it with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. I hope that you all have a very blessed day and thank you for watching.